Hey guys, what's up? It's Jack, still a legend here today. I'm here with a Minecraft Redstone tutorial. In this week's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a secret entrance to your Minecraft base. So let's go and have a look at it. So if we head inside this house because it's night, you see we've got a pretty normal house. We've got a stove with a campfire and kitchen, bedroom. Everything's looking pretty normal here. Nothing too suspicious like a lever on the wall or anything like that. But if we open up this barrel here, grab out a splash bottle of water and a flint and steel, throw a splash bottle of water onto this campfire, you can see it opens up a door in the ground and we can head through. Now you do have to hold shift when walking under this slab because it needs to be a slab here. It reduces the amount of redstone needed. Then you can grab, go down here, grab all your stuff, put some stuff in your ender chest, then walk back up, hold shift and jump up. And then you just have to light the fire to reactivate the door. Okay, so you've seen it in action. Let's go and have a look at how to build this. Okay, so I'm now in my super awesome redstone flat world. And behind me, we have the campfire door. And then underneath me, we have the redstoning for it. Now, the redstoning for this has to be super compact because you don't want to see too much of it when you walk down and go into your base or go into your chest room but like in the other one other world it works exactly the same splash potion here pistons activate gets pulled down slab here so you have to hold shift and walk under that slab and then you can go into your base now you can't detect the slab from the top so it doesn't really matter and you can always use say diorite slab there or wood slab depending on what's surrounding your campfire then you just relight it to activate it, and you actually can't see the observer, which is super cool. So, I'd just like to point out before we get into the tutorial that this, um, um, this contraption only works for Java. And that when I tried to make one on Bedrock, I found that it would have been really big and not very, very compact at all. But it really needs to be. This is because it uses the one tick system which says that if a piston gets a one tick pulse, even if it's sticky, it'll drop the block. So if I give this piston a one tick pulse here by breaking this block, you can see it'll quickly um, go up and extend it. I like and extend and then pull it down, then I do it again. You can see it pushes it up then drops back down. But even though this is a sticky piston, now this is not the same on bedrock. So that means we would have to incorporate a T flip-flop system and we would also have to make a much larger double piston extender. So it all gets very complicated. But if you would like to see a tutorial on this, enough of you want to see a tutorial on this, I will do one. So make sure to leave a comment down below. Okay, so now let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so if now you want to find out where your campfire needs to go or where you want your campfire to go. So I have built a little platform like this about like above the ground, four blocks above the ground, no, five blocks above the ground, one, two, three, four, and the fifth, just like that. And so you'll need a five block space and it needs to be a four by three wide area just for the redstoning itself. So once you've found where your campfire wants to go, place it, break the block there, where underneath where your campfire is going to go, grab out an observer and place it so the observer is facing into the sky and the red dot is going into the ground. Now you can place your campfire on top. This can this has to be lit. Then grab out some orange concrete, some repeaters, and some redstone dust, and directly under here, place two blocks down, break this block here, and place a piece of redstone there. Then diagonal down, if we're looking at it from this way, coming to our right, place a block like this, with a repeater on it coming out. We'll set this to a certain tick delay a bit later. Then place three blocks going directly across this way. One, two, three. Then one block diagonally down like this. And then place redstone on all of these. And then come one to the side with one more piece of redstone. Now come two blocks over and place a repeater and set this to two ticks delay. So that's one right click. Then set this one to four ticks delay, which is three right clicks. So this is what you should have so far. No pistons, just the basic redstoning. Okay, now you want to grab out an observer, two observers actually, and three sticky pistons and some building blocks. Start by placing your observer here like so, so this red dot is facing that way and your face is detecting this redstone here, with a piston facing upwards like that. Then come down here and place two sticky pistons directly on top of each other and an observer here so the red dot is facing into nothing. 
and then the face is facing to this repeater. Then place a dot blo a um, block on top of this red dot. So now it's time to add in the slabs, but to do that we need to grab out a splash bottle of water, like this, and throw it onto there. And you can see it'll fully activate. Now we can't fully walk down this way or that way because we haven't added our slab. Now there's two ways you can make this go. If you grab out a slab, you can make it go either this way forward, you might want it to go forward, just like that, and go forward, and then block there, so you can go forward, or you can go this side, or you could have it going both ways, each leading to different sections of your base. I just thought I would point that out for you builders out there who are decorating this. Bats in the hitbox there. And remember, when coming up, you will also need to um, hold shift and jump. Because otherwise, if we didn't have that slab there and we made some sort of redstone contraption to make uh, pull a third one down, it would become, again, even bigger, which it, we do not want. Okay, so there you have it, your own fireplace door. Let's jump back into the overworld. Okay, I'm now back in the overworld, and it is time to show you two different designs for the campfire. The first one here is like a campfire sort of sitting area where you've got some seats around it with some stone here. Now you could even use some wood here if you want, I don't know, the wood might go catch on fire if you're trying to be realistic, but I'm liking it with stone. Now if I grab my splash bottle of water, it's going to work exactly the same, throw it on there, the door opens, walk down and go grab my stuff from my shulkers and barrels. I just have to walk back up holding shift and then light the fire again to activate it. Now you don't only have to use a campfire, you can sort of implement this sort of kitchen idea with a stove outside by creating a barbecue. And again, same sort of thing, splash a bottle of water, let's grab that out, I should have kept that in my inventory, I can't find the L. And then splash it on here, you can see the door opens, walk down, grab your stuff, grab your diamonds, whatever, walk back up and light the fire. And then it is completely covered. Now these are ways these are the ways to disguise the campfire, these sort of ones, or you can just have it sitting out in the open like this, with that one over there. But with that said and done, that's gonna be the end of this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, and remember to sub it up a subscribe if you're new. I'd really appreciate the support if you hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys later. And remember, stay carbonated.